like Ian Hutton. When I holler mic check, people pay attention. This is Shorty. This is so everybody know where we at. We starting from the, we starting from 2019 and we going back to 1986. I was incarcerated for making a documentary about the war on drugs, mass incarceration in the prison industry. I'm the lab rat. I'm the test subject. You feel me? And that's all it was. The toilet represents the prison industry. When I go to jail, I got to share that toilet with the inmate. He don't care if your inmate is black, white, straight, or gay. The toilet take your shit every day. It wash our socks, our drawers, and it take our shit. Keeps our milk cold. You feel me? And if I can go to jail for a toilet, y'all go to jail for the truth. And these are the supporters of Shorty. The 2019 version supporters of Shorty. Like I said, I was making a movie and the toilet represents nothing but evidence. It's artwork and evidence. Now, Johnny Oleski said he's going to give me access to the grand jury or access to the Department of Justice. I want Scott Schellenberger investigated because Scott Schellenberger lied to the grand jury. Scott Schellenberger, you talk about race and racism? Well, we're going to talk about a racist. You feel me? We're going to talk about a racist. So anything that Scott Schellenberger testifies for in Annapolis in 2019... Let this go is disputing what he's testifying against, testifies for. You feel me? That's T.J. Smith. He used to be with Baltimore City. Now he's with Baltimore County. And T.J. Smith and me done had plenty of conversations. Like I said, everybody signed this of their own accord. Everybody signed this of their own accord. You feel me? Keep up the good work. All right? Because this is what I do in the community. This ain't my fight. This is our struggle. I feed your body with, your, with food and I feed your mind with knowledge. You feel me? And I keep everything I do very well documented. This is for the 2019 Open Society Baltimore Fellowship Award. I'm talking about racism and the good in the hood. That's Gary Tuggle. That's your police commissioner, former police commissioner. Now you don't see me with Harrison. That's Dante Hickman because I'm going to show the church and everything. That's equal justice, Todd Oppenheimer, because I'm going to show you about the war on drugs, and it's really just a war on the black community. I came here straight out the penitentiary. I didn't go to Poly. I didn't go to City. I didn't go to Edmondson Village. I went to jail. That's my fellowship and my fraternity, inmates and prisoners, and we international. So let's go to this story. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Dog, I ain't lying. I'm telling you the truth. Now you let you take a good look at this, cause this is this is my film studio. All right, this is my film studio. And we're gonna start right here, cause you stole the people from Africa and you stole me. You kidnapped me. You kidnapped me from my community. On February the seventh, two thousand eleven, you kidnapped me like you stole slaves from Africa. You feel me? That's my mother. She was dying from cancer, you feel me? And I was supposed to go to my mother's funeral. But instead of letting me go to my mother's funeral, you charged me with terrorism and locked me up. You feel me? You kidnapped me from my kids and my family. You kidnapped me from my grandkids. You kidnapped me from memories. And Governor Hogan know all about it, because I told him about it in 2014. These is my kids. This is my family. You feel me? You stole me from my people. Just because I put a toilet out exposing the racism and the corruption in the courts and how you get paid off of locking black people up behind the war on drugs, y'all got mad. I touched the nerve. I work for 85% of the richest people in this state. I work for Radio 1, TV 1. I work for Kathleen Hughes. I work for Dr. Rabinsky. I work for Mayor Pugh. I work for the government. I work for anybody that's paying me to cater because that's what I do. I'm out $2.6 million dollars. Defamation of character, libelous statements in which the state made. All I did is told you I went to Martin Luther King's job. I went to show you about being black and white America. And I showed you about your police department. So like I said, call for community fellowship applications. This is my application for the 2019 fellowship program. We're going to talk about race and racism. We're going to talk about the good and the hood. The things in the community in which I provide. The things in the community in which I've been doing for the last 20 years, we're going to put it all on film because I got it all on film. 
and we're going to talk about the police and policing in the community. We're going to talk about black policing in the community and white policing in the community. We're going to talk about the Department of Justice and the FBI. We're going to talk about these criminal charges that I brought against your police department. Like I said, race and racism. Racism don't work without black cooperation. You feel me? Black people got to cooperate with racist behavior. You feel me? So I just broke it down, and I'm going to break it down to the OSI. And I use toilets to put my message out. You feel me? That's my ceasefire program from 2006. And that's my storyboard. And this ain't no story. This is the truth. So in 2019, we're going to talk about the Maryland Legislative Caucus. I want access to the grand jury to give me justice. I was kidnapped by the state of Maryland on February the 7th, 2011, because I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger and the corruption and racism in the courts. I named judges, lawyers, and politicians that participated in it. And all this is on file with the Department of Justice and the Office of Dave Caminucci, Robert Harding, and Judge Bell, Judge Holland, Judge Previs, Judge Turnbull, Judge Rossetti, State's Attorney Rosen, uh, Rosenstein. All right. I made it perfectly clear. So now I'm going to my county, city, and state delegations. All right. Y'all said y'all going to give me access to the grand jury. Well, we're going to talk about racism in the Democratic Party. Johnny Oleski wrote a letter to the Department of Justice. All right. So following up on what he said, like I said, you kidnapped me from my mother. You took me from my family. I was supposed to bury my mother. I was supposed to be in Vegas. I had property there. I had a vested interest there. So I'm going to take you there. That's my sons, Philip and, and, and Cornelius. You feel me? It's about being black and American. And you got our black youth as an endangered species. And I, that's the toilet that you locked me up for in Towson. You feel me? So that toilet been to D.C., it been to New York, it been to Chicago, it been to Philadelphia. That toilet been a traveling toilet to show the shit that you do. It's the criminalization of poverty. You lock us up just for being black, just for speaking out, just for asking. For, no, just for asking for being the rights that supposed to be afforded to us. That's my jailhouse diary. All right. Federal violations of my whistleblowers application. Computer use only in a PDF file. Just in case something happened to me, I don't want no misunderstandings. See that? That's Dwayne G. Davis, 1402 Lochner. You kidnapped me from my place of residency. See that? Citation. My store on Falls Road. The state of Maryland accept forged checks. Because I was locked up in another state, man. I was in jail in Lake County, Illinois for 186 days. That's Mayor Moxley. Mayor Moxley, Mayor Cunningham, Mayor Hyde, Mayor Sabanjan. All y'all knew about this. Because y'all really make a lot of money off the prison industry in Lake County, Illinois. You feel me? That's State's Attorney, Schellenberger, Baltimore County. Because I went city, county, and state. We're talking about white collar crimes. Y'all can't run my store while I was locked up in another state. You feel me? That's Adam Lippy, white collar crime. 11, all right, James Hammond, y'all got that, so how you gonna lock me up and charge me with terrorism and then hide what you really was, what this case was about, refuse to prosecute Jake Davis, you feel me, huh. feel me, that's Peter Francott, the controller, that's Brian Frost, the attorney general, right there, I'm writing both of you in departments to clarify the unpaid taxes from unreported state and federal funds and shorties underground ribs, all right? Y'all let my store run for over a year and didn't nobody pay no taxes. That's $260,000 a year that I make. You feel me? My taxes show it. I can't go from $260,000 to zero. You feel me? In over 10 years, that's two hundred. That's $2.6 million. That, mo that, that store was financing my movie and my documentary. But I still got the original tapes. The movie was about my family. You feel me? Those is my kids. That's Philip up top. That's Benicia Boucher. That's Michael. That's LaQuish. That's Gerald. That's Giovanni. That's Brandy. That's Leandra. And my son, Jarrell. 
my babies. You feel me? So when you say that the black men aren't fathers to their kids, dog, check yourself. I'm the king of shit. And that's my Obama toilet, my Mark Twain, because I'm Mark Twain, y'all. I was fighting for my kids and my kids' freedom, just like yours. Yours, mine, and ours. These belong to me. You feel me? This is our road trip. And they remember that road trip. To this man of the master's house, you got to use the master's tools by any means necessary. And that's what I use. You feel me? I use the cell phone. I use the tape recorder. I use cameras. And I use the truth. It's the narrative life of a slave. Blacks have no rights in which white America respects. They don't respect them then and they don't respect them now. So I put it all on film. Like I said, this is my community board. Keep your head up. You feel me? I asked for a federal and a state audit. The same way that you did to Sousa, I want to audit too. I'm out $2.6 million. You made libelous statements. You incarcerated me for telling the truth. You kidnapped me from my community and my family. My mother died February the 2nd, 2011. I turned in Schellenberger to Greg Bernstein and the chief of police. Bellfield. For political corruption and racism in your courts. And you locked me up. That's Special Agent Richard McFeely. Because he had this. As soon as I got in jail, I wrote him. As soon as I got out, I let him know. You feel me? That's that case when you send police in my house and put guns to my head. You send police in my house and put guns to my head. You feel me? And the FBI got that. Mayor Pugh got that. Chief Johnson got that. I asked for a federal and a state audit. And if I don't get an audit, you ain't going to get no peace. I'm out $2.6 million. The movie will be made with $2.6 million. More than a movie. And that's just in lost wages. We ain't talking about defamation character and libelous statements. By the media. Because WJZ knew, WBAL knew, Fox 45 knew. I got a whole storyboard about the media. It's got 13 books, 13 movies, and 13 storyboards, plus letters designed. And it directly talks about mass incarceration. Like I said, racism don't work without black cooperation. And just because you know what Republicans are, you got black racism too. It's called the haves and the have-nots, the upper class and whatever's. Martin Luther King told y'all about this in letters from a Birmingham jail. You feel me? So I'm going to tell you about the prison industry firsthand because I was there. You see that? Received April 22nd, 2011. My lawyer. I was there. We talking about your prison industry, Mr. O'Neill. You feel me? We talking about your treatment of inmates. And I use the toilet to do it. And I'm famous for it. I'm going to run with that fame and that fortune. I'm going to take that negative and turn it into the positive. And when I shut shit down... I shut shit down. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. If they don't pay attention, I can feed them. And that's what I do. I feed the community wherever I go. Like I said, this is my, my fellowship application for 2019. We're talking about race and racism in our politics. And I'm going to give it to you. I am Dred Scott. Blacks have no rights in America, which white America has to respect. Now, you can go get this information directly from San... From Senator Antonio Hayes. I do shit backwards. I'm left-handed. I ain't gonna never do the right thing. That's Shorty, a champion for justice. Alright? February 13th. Over a year ago. United States District Court. Honorable Judge Bennett. I am writing you this letter as a follow-up online submission as my whistleblower application on the courts. Have links attached to the judicial complaint. You feel me? And you see who got it? Governor Hogan got it. Bobby Zirkin got it. Senator Judiciary Committee got it. Valario. Y'all had this for over a year. So when y'all want to talk about the delegate in Annapolis, they said the N-word. Well, let's talk about the people protect, protecting racism. Because I'm going to name you. I have. Your names is all over the storyboards. Your mail receipts are right here. Your mail receipts are right here. I'm going to give you something to see. We're talking about the criminalization of poverty. We're talking about being black and white America. We're talking about the narrative life of a slave. I'm not a slave. I'm a free man. Welcome to Shorty's Underground. You feel me? 
Welcome to Shorty's Underground, Judge. These are my kids. That's my father. That's my sister. And these is my kids. That's my niece. And these are the tapes. And these are the tapes. You feel me? Timed and dated. We call this a ghetto Da Vinci Code because I'm the only one that could put all this shit together. You feel me? I'm the only one that could put all this shit together. Sex, lies, and videotapes. And emails. See Bobby Zirkin? See the FBI? See the director of the ACLU? The state of Illinois took this from me in 2008. On February the 9th, 2008, Ken LaRue went to the police department and took this video out of the property. And now that video's missing. This is called The Making of a Slave, the Willie Lynch Letters. All right? Dwayne Davis, subject, county council meeting, Schellenberger, to share with the entire council. Yeah, the entire council needs to see this. Scott Schellenberger, Kevin Kamenetz. I was making a movie. The movie was about Kamenetz. It was about Schellenberger. It was about Bobby Zirkin. It was about the Maryland City and the Maryland County delegation of Baltimore. Because, see, I'm a Baltimore City resident, and I own the business in Baltimore County. You feel me? And my producer is Rob Fix. A movie called Letters Design. So what I ain't got, he got. And what I'm looking for in 2019 is the grand jury. That's Robert Barron, Insurance Corporation. Property and casualty. Because you took my property. My property was insured. You feel me? My property was insured. And right here. From the Maryland Insurance Company, it says right here, credibility that the, may require a judge or jury in a civil and a criminal judicial venue. Yeah, we got the criminal case. It's right here. And it's been sitting in your office for over a year. Scott Schellenberger refuses to prosecute this case because it's going to expose the corruption in the courts. My property was insured. For a million dollars. That's just for the property that it was insured. Over a million dollars. I lost 2.6 million dollars in lost wages. You feel me? Business. Business license since 1997. Ain't no law against making a movie. It's a shorty documentary. That's 2009. President Obama. And that's President Obama's mail receipt. Certified mail. Like I said, it's a notary, it's a documentary. And it's the Shorty program. This is an ex-felon program by an ex-felon, for ex-felons. The Shorty program. Self-help organization for the redevelopment and re-education of the young. It deals with economic development, political involvement, medical and health care, and your environment. It was approved by Governor O'Malley in 2006. You feel me? And these are the things that I do in the community. Like I said, ain't no law against making a movie. I got 14 movies with letters design. Artwork and evidence. And I got a lot of evidence. That's Ed Mulatello from the Ravens. I work for the Ravens. That's Dutch Rupert's Burger. That's 98 Rock. You feel me? And this is what you did to me. You charged me with terrorism. You feel me? That's the Baltimore Oreos. You feel me? And what you did is you stole memorabilia that I had from the Oreos. You stole my jersey that was signed by the Oreos. You feel me? You incarcerated me for 86 days for a crime you know I didn't commit. You only lied to the grand jury. All because of a toilet. All because I was exposed to racism in the Democratic Party. All because I got it all on tape. Everything on the floor, dog. 
You stole me from my mother. You stole me from my family. You kidnapped me. I lost the house. I lost relationships. I lost credibility. But I'm coming back for what belongs to me. This is to prove I was making a movie about racism in the judicial system. You feel me? Time stamped and dated. 2012. Because y'all refused to give me my property back. So I had to reshoot all the footage that y'all stole. By reshooting the footage, I also get to talk about this. The FBI. Dear Mayor Sabanjan. Same thing for Sam Cunningham. See the date? 2009. Chicago Sun-Times article. All right? Grand jury hearing. Lisa Madigan, Patrice Fitzgerald, Judge Boris. FBI needs to... Yeah, y'all need to turn over all the tapes. That's Peter Francott in the controller. Brian Frost, Attorney General. You feel me? I am writing both of you. I need an audit. I need a federal and a state audit. Johnny Oleski said he wants the Department of Justice to investigate. The IRS asked for an audit. Why won't you audit us? I want to prove that I didn't make no money during 2008. I was locked up. I was incarcerated. And they made over $260,000, almost $300,000, and nobody turned in no money. No unemployment was paid. No federal, no property. And I'm out $2.6 million. I'm not refused. I'm refused to stop until I get an audit. And you ain't answered this letter. And it's been over three years now. Jake Wish Davis, accountable for defrauding the state of Maryland. Shorty's underground rib shack. That's what the insurance complaint was about. That's what that criminal charge is about. And these are the elected officials that knew all about it. Because the movie and the documentary was about you. It's about James Broschini. It's about Manhunt. It's about Zirkin. It's about Gladden, Macintosh. It was about y'all. Y'all talk about racism because the lady used the N-word. Well, let's talk about racist policies. Let's talk about zero tolerance and stop and frisk in the O'Malley machine. Because all of y'all is part of the O'Malley machine. All of y'all been eating off of O'Malley's plate. You feel me? So I broke you down. I showed the media that was involved. I showed the media that was involved and I named you. You feel me? And I broke you down right here. Lies versus truth. I showed how you use your state's attorneys to incarcerate us. I broke you down and used you how you use your judicial system. Anybody got a problem with me, take me to court. I ain't lost the case yet. And I ain't never paid for a lawyer in my life. I'm homeless. I can't get an apartment because you labeled me a terrorist. I can't get a bank account. I can't establish credit. So you need to rectify the situation. I need an audit. I need you to clear my name. I need you to tell the truth. All right. And Hogan need to tell the truth, too. We want to talk about race and racism. Let's talk about how long you've been shielding this. You didn't had this since 2016. It's a movie release. So we're going to talk about racism from the governor down to the senators, the congressmen. We're going to talk about it to the Department of Justice because that's my Department of Justice number. Right here. That's my ID number. That's my case file. We're going to go to Omen and get that minority report in Brown. You feel me? I want everything. Because like I said, ain't no logins making a movie. Silence is consent. And I ain't got to be quiet. I ain't signed no. We ain't had no dissent. I don't sign nothing. Anything I say, I can prove. So when we go to court, bring all this. All this. Art and youth action. I'm going to be the 500-pound gorilla in the room. Mike check!